Good afternoon, everyone. Welcome to our channel. Guess who's coming for lunch? I'm Jacob. Today, I'm going to introduce you to a Vietnamese restaurant, which is known as the Small Vietnam in Taiwan. Tourists from all over the world flock here to get a taste of its exotic culture. Want to know why? Let's follow Tara and Jesse's footsteps and find out, shall we? Eventually, I decided on a business model that I was passionate about. A restaurant that would show, uh, showcase not only Vietnamese food, art, and culture, but also a space for intercultural interaction. We sometimes hold TED Talks. Yes, Shelly's delicious dishes bring new life into our society, adding more color to our already diverse community. But as an immigrant, Shelley went through much hardship. How did she overcome her difficulties? Let's discover the rest of her story after a short break. Hello, everyone. I'm the president. The government has promoted the southbound policy for many years. We provide financial aid to those who want to do business in South or want to experience a different theme. Please call this number 023356-6500. Welcome back to our channel. Please continue your story. Okay. Uh, first, I was a caregiver and I worked all the time. Neglecting my own needs and lost clothes to me. Hence, the idea of becoming an entrepreneur began to sprout. Yet, the first few months, we made this for money. I was so desperate that I wanted to commit suicide. Fortunately, a man who later became my husband saved my life. Yes, it was a close call. That day, I almost hit my wife. But luckily, I only found her lightly. Then, I rushed out of the car and went to see what had happened. She told me her sad story. I sympathized with her situation and offered her to take her to lunch. Then, <laughs> yes, we dated. What a surprising turn of events! Bye! Bye! Hi! This is my child. Hi! Hi! Can you introduce yourself in Vietnamese? Yeah, okay. Xin chào mọi người, mà là Lâm Lê Nhu. Wow, your daughter can use Vietnamese to communicate smoothly. Yes, since the government promoted multilingual education at schools, my daughter was given the choice to participate in Vietnamese clubs, so we can pass down our cultures to her. Oh, that's great! Thanks, Shelly and her family for telling us some marvelous story and letting us see the benefits that the South Pole policy brings to our society. Our interview is coming to an end. That is all for today. Thank you for your watching. Ta-da! 
sorry. I should have treated you better. Let's take a look around, shall we? Sure. And that is a story about how we need to accept all kinds of different cultures. This way, we can reduce the barriers caused by misunderstanding. The end. Thank you. Hey, Jake, you've been in the center for a few months. How's everything going? Everything's great. I still feel lucky to have gotten the chance to work in this Asian Infectious Disease Prevention Center. I can work with you guys, the top doctors, scientists, and bioengineers in the world. We're also lucky to have it here, the platform. Online Doc Global you helped develop. It's working really well now. Yeah! It not only allows people to consult doctors from around the world at home, but also provide big data collection for original medical analysis. It's really useful. I can't believe it's been six years since COVID-19 broke out. Too many people died during that time. But the pandemic brought us together. I'm grateful that we're still here and can continue contributing to the world. Mm. How is on the phone? Let's put it on the screen. Hey guys, I just received the data showing a lot of people in Europe are having COVID-19-like symptoms. The death rate is rising. Have the major symptoms been identified yet? Not yet. According to our investigation, the pathogen originated in gorillas. It seems another battle begins. Let's work together and fight this virus. That's right. Guys, the report just came in. It says the symptoms denote a new variant of COVID-19. The researchers have named it COVID-25. I knew it. The data I collected for the past few months predicted that. Let's fix the problem. Paul and I can be in charge of data analysis. Sure. Then Dewi and I will go find the gorillas. Bye. Beep. Hey, May, I'm back. Hi. Our goal is to find an effective cure. That's right. Hey, come take a look at the data I just received. It indicates that star apples can actually ease the symptoms of COVID-25. Star apples? What are they? They are indigenous fruit from Vietnam. They are sweet and taste like milk. They're very- hey, I just spoke with doctors from other affected countries through online.global. They have also noted the effectiveness of star apples. What great news. Let's get to work. And maybe we can find what we need to make remedies. How come it's so hard to find gorillas? Yes, there's just bugs. More bugs. Hmm? What's that over there? What? It was nothing! Ah! Whoa! What, what happened? Are you alright? Did you see that? See what? A gorilla just ran by there! Ah! Ah! We finally got him! All we need is little blood. Take it easy, buddy. Ah! Ouch! <laughs> it bit me! It hurts! Right, are you I'm fine. I'll take care of it later. Hurry, let's take the sample back to the lab. The sooner we make the vaccine, the more people we could save. Okay. <coughs> yes. Based on result of the blood test, the immune system of the gorilla can prevent a COVID-25 infection. We can make a vaccine. Awesome. I'll contact the research department at the medical center. Hey, Jay, what's wrong? Are you all right? I feel so cold. You're on fire. Jay, <coughs> Jay, Jay. Hey, guys, come to the lab quickly. Jay just fainted. What's wrong? Jay got bit by the gorilla a few days ago. I think his infected was COVID-25. Don't panic. Here's the star apple essence capsule. It's already been proven effective against COVID-25 symptoms. <gasps> Jay, Jay, you're, you're finally, finally awake. awake! Let's take him to the hospital now. After a 
overcoming all kinds of obstacles and difficulties we finally created the vaccine. Also, we have been able to send them to other affected regions around the world by online doc global. Besides the vaccine, we have also discovered the effectiveness of the star apples from my country, Vietnam. With all these, we will win this battle. As long as our countries continue to work together, nothing can defeat us. Vietnam is helping. Thailand is helping. Indonesia is helping. Taiwan is helping. Asia can help. Thank, Thank you. you. What is it about? It's a program collaborated by Taiwan and Australia. Taiwan has developed thriving AI technology, and I want to improve the conditions in this field. Well, in that case, I have no reason to hold you back. But you have to promise me you will take care of yourself, okay? Well, do I think I should go? What if I get lost? What if I can't find you? What if I don't get to see you? I'm sure that you'll do well. And I'm only a cub away whenever you need me. And I'll always find you. Always. Make sure the gears are all up done. You know, we're running out of time. The AI convention is two weeks away. Actually, I've been meaning to ask, do we need to add more functions? Hmm. I just feel like with our innovative AI system, we can effectively alleviate medical staff shortages. Checking vitals is only the tip of the iceberg. Hmm. Emotional sensitivity. Huh? What? Emotional sensitivity. Reaction to subtle human behavior. <laughs> Give me a minute. Hey, what's up? Alexis, something serious happened and I have no idea what to do. Whoa, calm down. What's wrong? Your dad has been diagnosed with early onset Alzheimer's. My, my dad? Yeah, he's still in his early stage and memory loss, a smile, but we're still afraid it might get worse. That, that's horrible. I'll get back to Sydney as soon as possible. Please take good care of Dad. Alma, it's me. Alma! Daddy, are you all right? Excuse me, have we met before? He can't recognize me? Why can't he recognize me? Girl, I want you to know that his situation is getting worse, and I do hope you could stay here with him. I guess that's the best solution for now. Let me know if you need anything. I'll leave him to you. Okay. Daddy, are you all right? Do you feel sick anywhere? I'm fine. Wait, you call me that? I'm not your dad. Who are you? I'm Alexis, remember? Daddy, please sit down. Steve, what are you doing here? I came for the AI convention with our friend. Lancelot, come in. Wow, it's all set? Yes. Daddy, where are you going? I'll go with you. It's okay. Lancelot can handle it. Just wait and see. to pick her up from school today. Don't worry, I will get a hold of her right now. Daddy, are you alright? Lexi want to see you. I'll go find you right now. Where are you? Lancelot, can you send Alexis your location? For sure. Where's Lexi? She's on the way. How about we play a game first? Play a game? Hmm. Hide and seek. This is my favorite game, which I always play with my Laxie. Daddy, are you all right? Laxie, I can't remember anything. I mean, 
I don't even know what to do. Daddy, look at me. Don't worry about getting lost. I will always find you no matter where you go. I promise. A week later. First of all, we are honored to have won the AI Care Award. Lancelot started out helping my dad because he was diagnosed with Alzheimer's. Thankfully, with Steve's help, I didn't give up. The result is satisfactory. As you can see in the video, Lancelot successfully decreased the speed of memory loss to 58% through human companionship imitation. Since the aging population is growing in both Taiwan and Australia, Lancelot here can help with this problem. This is a special gift to me, and we do hope it will be an asset in every long-term care facility. Thank, Thank you. you. Yeah, it's her last month in Thai. I think I'll miss everything here. I still remember the first day I met you. You guys are my first Taiwanese friend. Hey, my boyfriend just sent me a text message. Ooh, let's see. What a cute couple. So adorable. Enough. I need some privacy. What? Boyfriend? Or do you mean girlfriend? Yeah, his name is Leo. Someone is missing right now. Huh? Seriously? You're kidding, right? Due to the strict COVID quarantine regulations in Taiwan, he can't invite. Keep your voice down. There are people around us. Come on, it's really nothing. Why are you acting so weird? We don't really talk about that in public. People here don't accept that. You make us bullied. How come? I thought it should be well accepted in Thai. Not really. I've heard that last year, a Thai student who was recognized as gay at school shot and killed his classmates. LGBT plus are really not widely accepted in Thailand. How horrible it is! LGBT plus are gradually accepted in Taiwan. We even passed a law for their management in 2019. <sighs> I wish it's the same here. Wait, are you? No! Alright. To be honest, I'm not interested in boys. I'm glad I just finally came out. I'm sorry I didn't tell. I know this isn't right, but I can't control my feelings. I understand. It's always hard to make that step. My mom's gonna kill me when she finds out. She'll probably disown me. I'm sorry, Mom. I can't have babies. <laughs> How about let us have dinner with your mom tonight? We can figure it out together. Sure, let's go. It's nice having your Taiwanese friends here. Anything happen today? Mom? Yes, honey? I have something to tell you. Sure. I'm into girls, huh? Joanne, no, I'm, I'm going to take you to the hospital. You must have got some mental problems. Come down, Come down Auntie! Come down, Auntie! She's my daughter, not yours! I just want to be myself! This is not yourself, you're just sick! No, 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 no. Homosexual isn't a disease. In fact, it's genetic. Yeah, homosexual is just a minority in society. Sexual orientation is unchangeable, which means that it does not require any cure. So what can I do with my baby daughter? Just let her be herself. In Taiwan, huge efforts are made to promote LGBT's rights. After years of protests, constitutional invitation from the Grand Justice allowed legislative marriage for homosexuals in the year 2019. Joanne, I'm afraid you'll be an outcast. I'm worried about your future, your life. I don't want you to be bullied. It's all because I love you. I love you too, Mom. But it's 
the only way I'll ever be happy. It's not gonna be easy to change everyone's mind. LGBT plus also face many challenges in the society. We should do something to help. Sure. I've set up social media accounts, for example, Instagram and Twitter accounts, and name it Colored Tie. In those accounts, I regularly post out positive LGBT information. Since 1995, the National Taiwan University has been holding the Gay and Lesbian Awakening Days. We can start a similar movement in Thailand called the Rainbow Day. We can even produce a short promotion video to help spread awareness of homosexuality while advocating the Color Tie account and Rainbow Day. We can even start our own YouTube channel. Well, I don't know much about technologies, but I think I could give some other help. Take a look. This is a rainbow mask for all of us and also to support the LGBTQ plus communities. Wow, these masks are so well made. Let's take a selfie. Sure. Ready? One, two, three. Let's post it on Instagram with the hashtag Make it color, bring us closer. Thank you. Reporting from Taipei to assist manufacturers in the deploying markets of the Asian and India ahead of time and to seize new investment opportunities after the COVID-19 pandemic. At the 2020 Taiwan Asian India Investment Strategic Partnership Forum, Ministry of Economic Affairs, Taiwan News Officials, and Taiwan-based Indian ambassadors are in deliberation. Let's see the discussions in progress. Taiwan since 2016. The new South South policy focuses on economic cooperation, talent exchange, resources sharing, and establishing regional ties. India remains one of its main partners. What are India's plans subsequent to the impact of a COVID-19 pandemic? India remains progressive to promote Made in India, Digital India, and Smart City to attract more foreign investments and future cooperation between Taiwan and India's electronic industry. Solid! Presently in Taiwan, we're exploring development of smart base covering. Automated to open and close based on sensor proximity. Eliminating the discomfort of wearing masks all day long. Also to reduce contamination and infection, derived from habitual mask and face touching, when putting on and remove of the mask. Affirmative! India can assist this project to offer components such as proximity sensors, servo motors, adrenals, and LED, etc. Great! Now, on to today's main agenda to share our newly designed prototype tackling the food shortage due to COVID 19 as well as closure measures. Please put on the provided virtual reality glasses. Let's see what a researcher has developed in the video. Go! Wow! This is so innovative! Traditional farms providing essential tree planting space 
for the tablet for the reduction in the atmosphere, eventually lowering the process of global warming. Furthermore, drones are designed to replace manpower by transporting fruits and vegetables, reducing operation costs and COVID-19 infection risks. As an ugly food, they are placed in vending machines. As a lot of people throw the recyclables into trash cans. B. After conversion, they will receive corresponding points, turning ugly food for free. C. As an incentive to encourage resource recycling. And to take advantage of ugly food exchange for waste reduction and ease food shortage dilemma. Disgusting. Hey! How can you say something like that? Girls in the South Asian countries are thrown out of the house during that time. And it's all because of mean people like you! Me? How come it is my fault? What's the matter? What did you do, David? He's making fun of girls and periods. Is that true, David? What did I do? I just say it's disgusting. No! You said hey, it was so disgusting. So disgusting? I don't think disgusting is the right word to describe the pain and inconvenience women have to go through every month. Something you can never, ever imagine. Had you known more, you wouldn't have said something like that. Am I really as ignorant as she said I am? troubles them the most about living as a woman in this region. The sweltering weather is already annoying, and it's worse when we have our periods. What do you mean? Don't you use sanitary napkins? It's not that we don't use them. It's that we don't even have them. And to make things worse, the local taboos drive us out of our homes when we have our periods, because we are seen as filthy and disgusting. So we can't stay at our homes when our periods come or use anything. I can't believe it. This is still happening around the world? I'm happy to tell you that a Taiwan-based company, Escafe, invented something called Syntex. What's Syntex? It's a kind of fiber made from coffee ground extracts. What can it do? When it is used in sanitary napkins, it not only deodorizes, but also absorbs well. That's it! That's what we need! Syntex, what an interesting material. This is simple. I know what I can do now. Hi. 
have a proposal. I want the girls in Nepal to have the ability to make their own sanitary napkins. Hmm. So what's your plan? My plan is to make DIY kits with instructions inside and ship them to Nepal. You came up with all these yourself? Uh, yeah. But why? Didn't you say we were disgusting? After I realized I was being disrespectful to all the women around the world, I wanted to do something. Not bad. Can you show us how it's done? Sure. First, you have to draw and cut out the shape of the cloth. Each sanitary napkin requires two pieces of cloth. I can help you with that. Sure. And you have to remember to leave space for the buttons. So the same text should be put between the cloth, right? Is one piece enough or do we need more? I think one piece is enough. You can fix the cloth in place with pins, so it's easier to sew. So now we sew the cloth together? Yes. Then we fix the buttons on. There you have it. The eco-friendly sanitary napkin. With this, women in Nepal will no longer be troubled by the inconvenience their parents bring. Um, hey Lydia. I'm sorry for calling you disgusting. Can we still be friends? Sure, and I guess I overreacted as well. I'm proud of you two for taking actions to help those near or far with your own ideas. Thanks to these wonderful tiny students and teachers. DIY kits for eco-friendly sanitary napkins are now available to local women in Nepal. Near or far, Taiwan will be your friend. Thank you. Oh my goodness! What happened to you? We are going nowhere and it's so bothersome with our face masks on. I can't imagine when is this pandemic going to end. We've been confined to a house, which is really torturing. Yeah, it's really driving me crazy. So boring. Hey, we are not living in each generation. We have such confident knowledge. And we can have some fun by serving the internet. You see, this YouTuber is not only introducing products, but also interacting with the audience. Wow, that internet celebrity is so interesting. By the way, I saw her holding something. What's that? I'm curious too. Let me call in and ask about it. Hello, welcome to my live stream. Hi. Hi. I just saw your live show. I was so impressed. It looks so cool. You mean this? This is a new brother from Taiwan. Taiwan? Yeah. Taiwan is a place that's famous for bubble milk tea and mangoes. And this collagen skincare product made with inclusive extraction technology. It seems to be great, but what are the effects? The product aims at skincare, which can make you look energetic, like you're 10 years younger. Mm, is there anything else special? That's a good question. We have our professional here to answer your question. Hello, everyone. We are the manufacturer of the Seabring Collagen. We're here to answer your questions. I've noticed many cotton products and made from pigs, but we are loyal Muslim, so I don't think we can use it. This EX collagen is 100% straight from Seabring. There are no any other ingredients in it. No product has passed the street health certification, so even Muslims can use it without doubt. That's right! Then, I think, I will recommend it to my friends. That's a good idea! Dialogue between manufacturer and the live broadcast. Hey, the reaction from the audience just now was really good. I think it will be a big hit. <laughs> of course, our product has perfect quality students. How about we cooperate? If the overall sales are good, you can expand production and set the production lines here. Mm, this condition seems to be great. And we can also reduce the debit costs and open up the board market. Yeah, and we can also create more job opportunities and give young people stable job so that both of us can profit from it. Yeah, by doing so, we don't have to worry about the job vacancies. Then we have the opportunity to sell these products all, all over the world. Don't worry, leave it to me. I'll definitely give a satisfactory result. It should never be too late. I'll contact our professional and technician immediately and touch your side step by step. Taiwan has patented technology of this skill collagen peptide extraction, which uses innovative and improved formulas to produce unique Taiwanese zebra collagen. 
and then shoot a product to Southeast Asia. As a diver attorney. Now, let me introduce this magical technology to you. Wow, I can't wait to explore this technology. Mm, our first step is based on Pomelo, right? No, what are you talking about? Think about it. The rainforest has been torn to pieces because the overgrowth of palm. So, what should we do? First of all, we must do some basic product actions on the cultivated tiny sea fruit. Second, make this organic material be mixed. After that, for mixing the milk and wait for one hour. Finally, stir it at a low temperature. Then, it was a little fine foam. Oh, I can't believe that such a powerful product can be made of less simple materials. It's from pure nature. Yes, as you know, protecting the natural environment is not just the responsibility of government and people. It's even more important to manufacture like us. This can not only reduce the use of palm oil, better yet, it reduces the destruction of rainforest. My work has given going. Hello! Hi, so how can we buy this college? We are currently cooperating with AC Home, an online e conference platform in Taiwan. So all viewers can pick up your phone and scan the QR code. Press the order button to un to complete your order and then fill in your best information to confirm your purchase. Hey, my order completed! Well, I can't wait about it. I'm looking forward to it. Have a good survive. Twelve hours later. of China has found a new procedure in regional development. So the role of creator and sharer for long-term step-by-step power work, we have established the consciousness of the economic community and how to carry forward the development of our country. Swing to the south, that's forever in your mouth. Thank you for listening and wish you a wonderful day. delicious food, but also games and various shops for daily necessities. Oh, look at this. I have seen on the internet. I would like to buy one to have a try. You don't know that bubble milk tea is popular all over the world, and it has become another department of Taiwan. Oh, I know. Before I came to Taiwan, I heard that Taiwanese tea is world famous. Taiwanese tea is very popular in Thailand as well. That's right. The authority council and businessmen began to promote the bubble milk tea, and it has renowned Taiwanese icon. I 
I know that in our Hu Zhiming city, and the local street has become a new fashion trend in Vietnam now. It's called Bubble Milk Tea Street. Now, young people like to get there, which greatly improves our Vietnam local academy. Moreover, a variety of colorful little drinks that becoming a new fashion trend in Vietnam now. Wow, Bubble Milk Tea is really an excellent diplomat of Taiwan. After a whole day's travel, it is really great that I chose to study in Taiwan. Taiwan is really an interesting country. In addition to delicious foods, Taiwan also has a lot of activities to connect with other countries. Moreover, Taiwanese is very friendly to foreigners. That's right. Also, the environment of Taiwan is very clean and the climate is still very comfortable. Then, in the future, I will promote garbage classification to people in my country. Thank you for Loving Taiwan. Taiwan is a democratic country with multi cultures, and for and all foreign students are welcome to have cultural, take a logical and political exchange with us. Next time, I will go to your countries to experience your culture as well. Well, you have to be prepared. Why? This means that you will spend three more tickets than us. Oh no! Start with practicing Indian dance with me first. Wow! Thank, Thank you, you for watching. Annie came to India as an exchange student and she met her true love. They got married and will live happily ever after. However... I'm back! What a long face! What happened? Honey, can I build a toilet in our house? You know what? Women here can only go to the toilet twice a day. The morning and evening. And I have to go with Caddy, the girl from next door. Because I'm so scared. Oh, I'm sorry. I've never thought about that before. I'll try for sweating papa, but I'm not sure. I didn't have this problem in Taiwan. Annie, hurry up. It's time. Kelly is calling. Coming. The next morning. I'm really fed up. What's wrong? Yesterday we were followed by some guys. Yeah, the hearts are common. How can you be so calm? Why did something happen to me one day? You promise you will protect me forever. Okay, okay, just give me some time. If you can solve it, I will find a way myself. At night, Timmy is busy building something. What are you doing? N nothing. I'm just decorating our garden. It's beautiful, right? What's this? It's like a toilet. Well, please, Papa. It's for Annie's sake. How can we have such dirty things here? What's going on, Papa? Annie, I tried building a toilet, and Papa found it. Annie, we have got here. The toilet means no respect. But in Taiwan, we have toilet at home, and also in Shuangat. Can we make a little change, Papa? No, this is India, not Taiwan. No way. <sighs> you see, I've tried. Papa is too stubborn. I know, thank you, honey. Tradition is important, but it's about health and safety. I also hope to do something for women here. How? I will post this situation online. Nice. Ask my friend in Taiwan for help. Good. And also, maybe I can go talk to Katya with Kelly. Oh, that's great. Let's see how we can solve this problem. Kelly, to pee in the well is so dangerous and troublesome. We need at least one toilet in the village. Shall we go to 
about to go up Pat Hill. You're right, but I'm afraid. Don't be afraid. Let me show you something. What's the news? The President Mahdi has launched a movement. Toilets before temples. A Taiwanese soul came that some villages are still behind. NDTV reports. You see, so many people are helping us. Yes, we can't be silent anymore. Let's go talk to the patio. What? President Mahdi asked about toilets in our village? A Taiwanese girl's here? Yes, sir. I'll check the message. Namaste. Wait. You look familiar. You're the woman in the news. Here. Oh, yes. It's me. Actually, we just come for that. Yes, Patio. We have no toilet. It's not so dirty and dangerous for women. We have been suffering so much. Okay, I see. But the others are different ideas. Please, we do need toilet and it's president policy, isn't it? Well, let me think. Oh, maybe I can ask God for help. Really? really? Thank, Thank you. you. What's bothering you? Some villagers wanted to fill a toilet, but the elders think it should no respect. Never mind, just do it. It's safer for women, and also clean for the village. Okay, I see. Ah, it's so comfortable. Ah, how comfortable it is that it's our best given. Well, the nature calls, everyone can do it naturally and safely. Thank you! Have you ever noticed that plastic damages our ocean seriously? Let's take a look at this sea turtle. In his body, it's a stomach full of plastic bags. That's not all. Millions of marine lives die from trash every year. We are now recruiting volunteers to help us clean up the beach in Australia. If you are interested in giving us a hand, please dial 562-6852 for further information. Hey, look! This trash human made are hurting sea turtles again. Hey, the organization is recruiting people. I've heard of it before. Australia is so far away from us. That's true, but it's a real opportunity. And I think you're exactly who they want. You know so much about marine lives. I guess you're right. And I might have a chance to meet their founder, Ian and Boyan, who invented the marine vacuum. Do you want to join me? Sure thing. I also want to help. That would be great. I think we can take part in the activity called Clean Up the World Weekend 2020. What's that? Well, Clean Up the World has engaged an estimated 35 million volunteers across 133 countries, making it one of the largest community-based environmental campaigns in the world. Wow, let's go and sign up for it! Okay, if I can meet my idols, I want to ask them about their opinions on Taiwan marine life protection. Sounds good! Let's go and start packing for Australia! be the company of Clean Up the World. Hold on a second. Is that boy in slut? Oh my, I can't believe it. What a surprise to meet you here. Hi, are you guys going to clean up the beach later? Yeah, I'm so excited about that. Thinking of myself helping save the earth really makes me happy. Will you come with us? I'd love to, but I can't. However, I believe that you'll learn a lot from the activity. Okay, hope to see you next time. Bye!
Here we are. Wow, there are so many people here. Hi there, are you here to help too? Where are you from? We are from Taiwan. We saw the advertisement on TV, so we come to help. Then you must be knowledge about a marine life. I'm sure that you know plastic damages our ocean seriously. Yeah, and the three most deadly forms of plastic are boys, traps and pots, monofilament fishing line, and fishing nets. Right, abandoned fishing nets limits animals moves, causes hunger and increases casualties and infections. Oh, I know! Besides, plastic bags, utensils, balloons, and the year loops of face masks are also fatal. Correct! Plastic fruits and knives we use in our daily lives can harm marine life when they break down to microplastic. By the way, cigarette butts and bottle caps can be mistaken for food by innocent animals, which leads to suffocation and infection. Oh, so sad. The same thing happened in Taiwan as well. That's why I want to found an organization to help save marine life. Everyone here is really professional. Boyan did not lie to us at all. cleaning today. Can it help save our beautiful ocean? Of course. Thanks for your help. The beach has become cleaner. Most important of all, you save the oceans from the danger caused by trash. We really did a great job. Even though beach cleanup is just a small action, I believe we can make a difference. And I think we can even take the matter further. We can set up an organization to clean up the coastline in Taiwan. Sounds great. By the way, do you guys know what is done in Taiwan concerning marine conservation? Certainly. In Taiwan, habitat conservation, marine protected areas have proved to be quite effective. How about in Australia? Australia sets up the Australia Ocean Policy to save the oceans for future generations. We resort to specific actions like strengthening research to improve understanding of Australian territorial waters, as well as the development and management of marine protected areas. Oh my, Australia really set up an example in marine conservation. Yeah, and I think we should hold up such a meaningful activity every year, not only to clean up the beach, but also to raise people's awareness of marine conservation. Everyone can help at this crucial moment. With joint efforts, we can make it happen. Thank you. appreciate the assistance of the government of Taiwan in providing us with masks and related medical resources to help us fight against the COVID-19 under such difficult circumstances. To express our gratitude, we will launch a series of initiatives around the world next month to signal opportunities for cooperation and to improve our domestic infrastructure through various policies promoted by our Prime Minister. This year, we have become the fourth largest economy in the world. Thank you for visiting us. I'm very pleased to join this mission with you to fight against COVID-19. Based on a spirit of love without boundaries, our medical organizations have been trying hard to seek various connections with the Indian government, hoping to establish mutual cooperation and relationships. In the near future, more medical support and services from Taiwan will be expected to benefit the citizens living in the rural areas of India, as well as other countries. This can also help the commercial development of digital medicine in allied nations. Dr. Chen and Dr. Huang are the best medical and antivirus experts in Taiwan. Taiwan has advanced medical technologies and related resources that India requires. In return, India has the capability to support the labor resources that Taiwan needs to develop the information technology and industry. I strongly believe it's a good time to establish foreign relationships between our two countries. I'm very proud to be working here. 
anecdotal experience tells me that the people of India lack the adequate protection required to guard against the effects of COVID-19. Insufficient education in personal hygiene and a lack of medical facilities could be the main causes which are making this epidemic more difficult to fight. Modern health education is the most important factor needed to fight against this disease. We think that although many people here in India live with difficulties, India has good potential for development due to its advantage of having a high population size of replacing China as the dominant market worldwide. In line with Dr. Chen's opinion, we believe it's time for Taiwan, along with other nations, to invest in India now. This is why many Taiwanese industries are starting to head 180 degrees from 270 degrees, turning south from west. India is an ideal place for investment, in addition to its labor resources, medical research, and development of technology. There are also many bamboo plantations in India. Bamboo is a natural composite material for making charcoal products, for filtering water, and increasing water quality in order to protect people's health. Okay, let's come back to the issue of COVID-19. Taiwan's successful abdomen prevention strategy has made our masks very popular in the worldwide. Our government basically has an obligation by providing masks, support as manufacturing techniques to countries which are friendly towards Taiwan, and we are also aware of the urgent need for masks in many cities in India due to the heavy air pollution. We will take back to Taiwan what we have learned and seen here in India. India is a India having a potential de development due to the advantage of having a high population size of replacing China as a dominant market. We hope that Taiwan's experience in effectively preventing COVID-19 from spreading all over the island will be a good reference for India. We have already set a good example for Taiwan's new southbound policy. In conclusion, I strongly urge our younger generations to consider a future working with India. It's time to change direction at the earliest opportunity and form strong links between our two nations. Wow, sounds like an excellent strategy for all of us. Hope to see you in our next worldwide activities. Thanks to our colleagues in Taiwan. Thank you. What's new, Min? You look a bit worried. What's wrong? I'm worried about my English project. What's that? There is a writing activity called Write for Write in my English class. The teacher asks us to write a letter to a person suffering from an unfair treatment or a terrible threat in this world. Actually, I have no idea who I can write to. That sounds challenging. So, I think you should find a problem happening in this world. Why not go search online so what we can find there? How could this happen to her? Let me see. Wow. The family grows puppies for a living, and the trade of puppies is legal in this country. The government even imposed a ban on growing puppies because of the chaos of taking drugs in Myanmar. I can't believe that such a young girl as our age would become addicted to drugs. Yeah. Is there any access to contact with her? Mm, here is an email address below the web page. I see. I can try to write her the letter first. It's a good idea, and I'm interested in this writing project. Let's do it together. It's perfect to work together. Let's get the ball rolling. I feel a bit spinny and starving. Since the government forbade us from selling puppies, my family can make a living on it. So the officer tell us to grow fruit to make we end meat. The profit of selling fruit is pretty low for us. Help! I'm trapped! <coughs> Who will write to me? Such a poor girl living such a horrible life? Wow! Someone on this planet heard my prayer! Me 
effect to access how to make a huge profit by growing foods. Mm. First, we should help them figure out what kind of fruit to grow. Hey, reminds me of my grandmother's traditional craft, banana clothes. Do you mean using banana fiber to whip into the clothes? Bingo! In Hualien, this traditional crab is fading. Hey, I have an idea. We can suggest her growing bananas and ask my grandmother to teach her how to use bananas to make special clothes and handbags. We kill two birds with one stone. What a wonderful solution! I can't wait to tell Pinky this brand new. After writing to Pinky, we should go to visit your grandmother. Let's hit the road. Hi, Granny. Hi, Grandma. My dear kids, how's are you here? Granny, I miss you so much. How are you doing? I'm good, but I'm worried about a fading traditional craft skill. The skill that's helped the tribe get through the tough times. Grandma, are you talking about the banana clothes? Smart kids, are you coming to tell me a way to preserve the tradition? Actually, Granny, we need your help. How can I do for you, my kids? Granny, a girl living in Myanmar is addicted to drugs. Luckily, reach her via writing emails. So, we want to help her with your skill. Could you please teach her how to make banana clothes? Wow, I'm so glad that I, an old lady, can make some efforts in this world. So, how is the first step? Because of the COVID-19, we can't travel to Myanmar. However, with the other fans of technology, we can make good use of the internet. We are going to video a clip, upload it online, and share it with Pinky. And if it works, Pinky will live a better life with a special skill from Taiwan. And Granny will definitely be the hearing of all of us. Besides, banana pills are no longer a waste but used for stuff. I should write a letter to me and tell her the good news and thank for her prompt help. Banana pills were a treat and copies are nowhere to be seen. Thank you. background symbolizes the time of hardship. It let people become tough and brave to face difficulties with a smile on our faces. But look at me now. If I can't finish my multi final project, I can graduate. Oh, call me when you get here. After me, fruity yummy, fruity goody. Fruity yummy, fruity goody. This mask was used to honor our ancestors. The lines on the mask show Murray tattoos to make them look fierce and to scare off their enemies. Guess where I am from? Oh, I know, you're from New Zealand. I know you. You're popular all over the world. Of course, I have vitamin C, 10 times richer than an apple. You're also very good looking. What's your name? I bet people go crazy for you as well. I'm Ai Yu. You must be kidding me. People really recognize me. Don't say that. I believe you are unique. Nothing can replace you. <laughs> I guess. Here, take this piece of puzzle with you. You may enter the next stage. What's this? Wait. Uh -huh. Ah, I know this. Pretty yummy, pretty goody. You are going to ask me what country represents. How do you know the rules? Uh, never mind. The masks went to five categories. Among them, the demon masks and the monkey ones are the most symbolic. Now, guess what country I represent? Mm, can you give me another clue? The mask also inspires wisdom. Got it, we're from Thailand. You're smarter than you think you are. I know, you're a mango sing. You have incredible benefit. For example, your sentence can protect the body from various diseases ranging from common cold and flu, cancer risk, and heart disorders. I'm flattered. 
I believe you have a lot of benefits too. I heard that you contain high amounts of antioxidants. Besides, you can clear people's skin and boost their immunity. You remind me that I'm a defender. With antioxidants, I can protect the human from aging too soon. Maybe I will be the rage in the near future. Good. You finally realize what you really are. Take this. It may help you. How many users are there? A smooth sea never made a skillful sailor. Your word sounds wise. I bet I can solve my problem. I agree. I thought Kiwi and Mangosteen have inspired you to use your advantages. But I don't know how to let more people recognize my value. Wise men build bridges. Foolish men build barriers. What, what does that even mean? Think. I get it. It's like putting kiwi in dishes because it works up an appetite. And mango skin can prevent people's skin from developing acne. That's what you mean by building bridges. Stop limiting your own path. I want you to have this. All my advantages are here on the puzzle. Look, this is the shape of Taiwan. It must be a sign telling me to go on adventure to the southbound countries. Wait. <laughs> You repay me first. What? How about working for me for a hundred years? <laughs> Careful, Dad. Let me give you a hand. Uh, after sending some bananas to the local market and some to Japan, there's still so many in stock. What a great pity. Our farm's bananas are of supreme quality. Asia's number one. So we have to carry them to the army again. Thanks to the government's help, the soldiers will help us consume the surplus. Hey, Dad. I attended the workshop held by the government last month. It's called the New Southbound Talent Development Program. I met some young entrepreneurs from Southeast Asia there. Maybe after Japan, we each should seek opportunities down south. Are you sure, Eric? That's a daring move. I can ask my new friend Annie from Thailand for advice. She invited me to visit her anytime. Well, come on, Dad. It's time to create more possibilities. I'm booking tickets now. And you should go with me. What? No one knows bananas better than you do. Besides, you deserve a vacation. OK, for the sake of my bananas, Thailand, here we come. Oh! King of Bananas, and this is Annie from Coconut Kingdom. Welcome to Thailand, Mr. Lin and Eric. Let me introduce Jamie, CEO of 
Coconut Kingdom. Sawadika, glad to meet you. Mr. Lin and Eric are experts at growing bananas from Taiwan. They are seeking opportunities to promote Taiwan's bananas. I see. Innovation is the driving force behind Coconut Kingdom. Kenny, you're about the same age as my son. You're the youngest CEO I have ever seen. In the cases of startup businesses, you can launch your career regardless of age. As our company's model says, the youth in power as vital as a flower. Come to Thailand, the carefree land. Bravo! You can say that again. No wonder. Thailand is known as the kingdom of smiles. That reminds me of my loving bananas. Whenever I look at them, they're always smiling at me. Our treasure, Taiwan's treasure. Yes, and coconuts are our treasure, Thailand's treasure. That's right. But sadly, we suffer from overproduction of bananas. They seem to be crying. And we have trouble coming up with the next season's new product. Hey. How about we work this out together? Are you sure? But how? If we repackage our products in innovative ways, we can raise the buy value and create infinite possibilities. And then we can fill everyone's faces with banana-like smiles again. Perhaps we can combine Taiwan's treasure, bananas, but Thailand's treasure, coconuts, bananas and coconuts. They sound like some kind of dessert. Coconut meat, banana milk, coconut water, banana pearl, back of the milk. Three more grams of banana extract. One more cup of coconut meat. Drink is born! I can't wait to show the world this fantastic product! Presentation time! Ladies and gentlemen, today we're presenting you with a revolutionary beverage, the star of drinks, Baconut Milk. Bananas are rich in vitamin C. And its nutrients and minerals can remove unwanted chemicals from your liver and kidneys. Meanwhile, maintain a healthy nervous system. And coconuts build muscles and help reduce fat. Baconut milk perfectly interprets the combination of two products. The friendship between two countries and the integration of two cultures. Thanks to the international cooperation, we are able to know each other better, having a new vision of the world. The true treasure would be not only the magnificent bacon and milk, but also the most important ingredient in its recipe, which is joint effort and our everlasting friendship. Thank you. Animal protector. Poacher! Uh, 
No, I refer to Teacher India. And Indian poacher. What? I'm gonna catch you. Wait, no, 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 no. I refer to S A P L. See, look, they can tell you. Liar! Stop fighting! Look, the leopard cat is dying. Let me check. She probably has an infection. Infection? Yeah, you can tell from her slow movements. That's why she was almost hit by a car. Are you okay? Go away! I will trust you, human beings. You took away our homeland, and I no. was almost killed Real. by the car just now. My skills are a kind of traditional medicine. I'll pluck some to save you. Wait, it won't work. Your skills are just the same material as human fingernails. They have no medical effect. Let me try. What is that? Canine parvovirus confirmed. Formosan thistle suggested. It's an herb native to Taiwan. What's this for? It is good for your liver. I have some here. It can reduce swelling and ease the pain. Take this. <coughs> Ew, this tastes bitter. Wait, I feel better now. Look, thanks. The humans are your friends, not your foes. Sorry for mistaking you. But why are you here? Well, by 2080, pangolins would be extinct. So, I am here to restore them before it's too late. Great. I have tons of experience to share with you. Really? Tell me more. In the past 20 years, Taiwan had done a lot of research on pangolins, including the best recipe to help their digestion. Wow, Taiwan is not only a food paradise for humans, but also for pangolins. And by our advanced breeding methods, Taiwan successfully restored the first pangolin in the world. Thank you. Okay, message copy. Besides, I need to gather information from living pangolins. Cool, but how? I'll implant a chip into every pangolin in Taiwan. Chip? I love chip. Especially uh, potato chip. Me too. Stop eating trash. Then why is chip? This is the chip. With this, I can monitor pangolin safety and health conditions. I got it! The chip will send signals to me to protect them from being poached. Then what about saving us local cats? No worries. We Taiwanese have taken some measures to improve road safety. But you ignore disease prevention. Statistics shows that leopard cats with this type of virus are 25 times more likely to get hit by a car. Virus? What do we do now? Why not also put the chip in me? Ah, with this? In our herbs. Once you got the virus, we can save you in time. Can I help my relatives in the south? Even better. With this, I can gather information from the pangolins in Taiwan. And by analyzing the big data, we can figure out the best way to save them. Yeah! Hey, pal. You watch us glowing. Uh, it's just my time machine. Are you leaving? Well, I was, but I've changed my mind. Let me send a voice message back to headquarters. What should I say? We can help. Oh. Taiwan and Southeast Asia go hand in hand. And I'll stay to the very end. Together today. Safe animal land. Sent. Nice. Oh, the headquarters sent a message back. Let me show you. Request approved. Please, men with love. Because we are. Men with love. Thank, Thank you. you.